Question, I wanna see something. Who came from my Instagram and who came from my TikTok? And who came because my notifications is on? I fuck with you. I told you, we getting real active on YouTube. I'm probably gonna start posting three, four times a week, man. So subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on, like the video, comment on the video, everything that the YouTubers say. Take y'all through running a dig from an outside release, running that corner strike kind of corner route, and running a comeback versus press man. Like everything else, let me know what route y'all wanna see. I hope this helps. I'ma get back to my workout. Enjoy the video. Oh, wait, wait. I saw y'all comments. Y'all wanna see that dig route. I got you. Like I always say, you know where you're going. He doesn't. Use that to your advantage. When you run an outside release dig, you either wanna club him by and come underneath him or go over top and keep it flat and that's just knowing your defender if he's running step for step with you it'd be a lot easier for you to stop and just throw him by but if he's playing in your back pocket you have to go over top or you're gonna get caught up with him once i decide i'm going over top i want him to think i'm running a comeback and that's where your false indicators come in when you look back and rise up a smart db is automatically thinking comeback i sit it down for an extra step so he can think oh yeah i'm on that and then i get a pot of it it's just all deception weekly reminder don't forget to use y'all damn hands but you can see the deception a lot better here once i decide i'm going over top i'm really selling that comeback you can see i'm turning in my body so he's really biting on that comeback the biggest key with this route is patience and detail exaggerating your comeback and then being patient enough to let it develop let him commit to that comeback before you come out of that break watching the full speed i come off the ball push vertical peek back sit in that comeback and i get up out of there fun fact i knocked myself out right here i was asleep Today I'm talking about a route that I've heard get called six different names. If you play Madden, I'm talking about corner strike. We all know that one. I'm going to show you me running it from different coverages and different spots on the field. Once you stem inside, the most important part is getting back vertical. Now you have him square up and you can play basketball. I'm trash at basketball and I have a little crossover tummy, so I know y'all could do a little razzle-dazzle. You're stemming inside, so he's trying to keep his leverage. If you sell the inside breaking route, you win. That's the creator of the gritty dance. When you're running this verse press, you have to fight for an inside release. When you take your initial inside release, if he keeps keeps his leverage over top, attack his blind spot, and then just stay in his blind spot. You do that because if you just keep pushing inside, he's going to keep washing you down inside to the linebackers, and you're going to get stuck in there. And you're going to be tight. Cut it out. Watching a full speed, I get inside, get back vertical, shift my hips, and I get up out of there. Not the best ball, but you know, what are you gonna do? When you take your inside release, if he dives hard over top like this, just put your foot in the ground, throw him by, and come underneath him. True freshman year at the University of New Hampshire, he's fighting to stay over top of me, so I just threw him by. My first college touchdown in my celebration game was still trash. Today I'm talking about running a comeback versus press man. Like every other route, the biggest key is to sell vertical. A trick that I learned was just run a goal ball and then change your mind. Like I always say, you know where you're going. He doesn't. If you attack him and run past him, he's thinking, oh shit, I gotta catch up. And then you come out of it, now you win. So all I like to do in the first five yards is give him some. Because that's what I do when I run a go. So you want to make it look identical. So that when I run out of that, he's thinking, I gotta go, I gotta catch up. I know I'm black, you probably can't see my face, but I'm looking back for the ball. They're taught to look at our eyes. When we look back and our eyes get big, they think the ball's coming. Hem, hem, now you race back to the ball. Keep your cushion. I'm showing 10th grade AJ real quick to show the power of your eyes. You look back for the ball, he looks, hem, hem, you see the Spider-Man drip. Let's watch it in full speed. I come off the ball, give him some. Get a little peek back, <laughs> get up out of there. You know where you're going. He doesn't. I could show you me running it in a game. I come off the ball, give him some, peek back, shut it down, and I get up out of there. Y'all know the drill. Let me know if y'all want more, what route y'all want to see on the look. <laughs> I got clapped.